Hey, Jason Moss here, and today I got another Facebook ads video for you. This is in regards to your Facebook lead form ads and actually testing uh, your lead form ads, um, testing those forms that you've made. So that's a very important step. Uh, this is something that a lot of people don't do and you absolutely should do, especially if you have automations going on. Like, uh, for instance, whenever you have leads come in on your lead form ad, Facebook doesn't have a way of getting that out of it um, the, in the most easiest way, okay? So you always have to hook something up to it like uh, Zapier or some other kind of connection, um, automation tool, maybe like Go High Level, something like that. Um, there's a lot of things that you can connect to it, but you have to connect something to it to get those leads out unless you just want to download like CSV or Excel sheets, which isn't very fun, okay? So this is how you do it. I'm gonna put the link in the description below um, to this, but this is on developers.facebook.com slash tools slash leads ads testing, okay? And this is their leads ads testing tool, all right? So when you come here, First thing you're gonna do is select the page that you're trying to use um, and test those leads from. So you'll see all of your pages that you have inside of your business manager um, right here on this dropdown. Okay, so I have mine selected here, and then it's gonna show you all the different forms that you have for that specific page. So I have this one selected here, because um, I work with HVAC owners a lot, so this is one of the forms um, that I was using. So you have two options here. You can either create a lead or you can preview form. Now, what's the difference, okay? So create lead is gonna create dummy data. Facebook does it for you, okay? If I hit create lead here, all right, it's instantly gonna do it. It says your test lead has been sent, all right? And they, they'll do one for you with that dummy data and then you have to delete it. So we should, okay, there it goes. Yeah, we got a text message because that's how I have it set up. Um, this is running through uh, Go High Level, which is a, a tool that I use for a lot of my different clients. So as soon as I get a lead to that form, it sends me a notification uh, text message, okay? So that worked all perfectly fine. And the data that comes back, it, it literally says for like the full name, test at fb.com, dummy data for full name, dummy data for last name, dummy data for company name, stuff like that. So um, that can be very helpful, but what I usually do, all right, is I'll do the preview form. So you click on delete lead and you'll see it's been deleted, so that won't show up in your lead data anymore. Uh, so that dummy data has been removed. All right, but let's uh, click on preview form and this will actually bring up the actual form and then you can uh, go through it and you can actually put your information. So if you're actually trying to figure something out and you want it to go to a certain email, you're testing all the different automations, making sure notifications are being sent out, emails, text messages, however you have it set up, um, you can send it to an actual, the correct email and the correct phone number um, make sure everything is correct. So you'll just go through there, enter the information that you want, um, and then you know go through the, the rest of it. I'm not gonna do it because she'll get a notification there. Um, go through the rest of it and just hit submit and it'll push everything through. One little uh, pro tip for you for people that are doing this kind of testing, if you're entering in uh, your email address, okay? So something like this, and you wanna do this test a second or a third time or a fourth time. Um, sometimes the programs that you're using will see that you've already entered that email address and they won't resubmit like the information, they won't push the same stuff back through. So one way you can do that, that a lot of people don't know about, is you can just add something like this, Jason plus one, okay or whatever the email is it, it doesn't matter just at the end of it do like plus two plus three plus four plus five and you can your system will see that as a new email all right but it's still going to be delivered 
to the uh, to that original Jason at mostech.org in this uh, situation. So it sees it as it's new, but it's still delivered like that's not even there. Okay, so that's just a little pro tip for you. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, the uh, link to this will be in the description below. And that's how you test um, all of your different lead forms uh, for yourself or for your clients, whatever you might be doing. But if you got questions, leave them below. I'm happy to help. And I'll see you guys in the next video.